Roosevelt University professor Peter K. Fallon hopes to teach readers how to detect misleading information and social media posts. Peter K. Fallon joins us now to say more. Hello, how are Good you? Good morning. Good morning, how are you? So two po we've heard 2.0, what's 2.1? 2.1 is where we are right now. Uh, 2.0 is basically the propaganda we've lived through in the 20th century. We've uh, been concerned over the last 20 years or so about media conglomeration. That's really propaganda 2.0 in its fullness. Propaganda 2.0 is the concentrated control of the creation and flow of information to the masses. I see. Where we are right now <clears throat> in the digital era mm -hmm. is a breakdown, at least partially so far, of propaganda 2.0 and the rise of decentralized, anything goes propaganda. All right, so it, that, that's, that, so the question is, is something like Twitter, which is getting a lot of complaints right now, mm -hmm. should we look at that like a newspaper or should we look at that like a tool? Because they say, hey, we're, we're just a tool. If people want to say weird stuff, they can do that. Where if you're at the Chicago Tribune, you're not doing that. It's not a newspaper. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to come down on the side of uh, now Elon Musk. Uh, you know, whether they're a publisher or not is a, is a question that I'm not qualified to, uh, to answer. But, but they're not a newspaper. There are, in fact, many good digital alternative news sites. I'm going to guess that the only reason I'm here this morning is because somebody saw an article in Block Club Chicago. It was within an hour of this article coming out. I got three invitations for interviews. Yeah. And Block Club Chicago is a very, very new startup, and it's, uh, it, it's a fabulous website. Uh, and there are other really good alternative sources of news. So, you know, I have to step back just for a second. In, in your introduction, you said something that may not be true, that I'm here to warn people away from um, alternative news sites. And that's actually the opposite of what the book is about. I think that we're getting more, we're getting more information now as a result of this explosion of information with the digital era. Right, I think the pe thing people worry about though is how do, you, how do you figure out what's a legitimate source and what is not? Because the, it's, you know, young kids are scrolling through Twitter or TikTok and they don't, that my daughters, they can't tell what And they adults don't know. can't either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was yeah. just going to say that. Yeah. This is not, don't, don't. Uh, yeah. So what's the solution don't, to that? Yeah, well, the, the solution is a long-term solution, and it's not going to happen overnight. I was asked the other day, how do we get a grip on this whole situation? Because we've got uh, another election coming up in two years, and then midterms two years after that. And this is not a problem that's going to go away in two years. Uh, it's a long-term problem with a long-term solution that's got to start as we're raising our kids. We've got to raise them to be readers. We've got to raise them to be readers of history. We've got to get them to know American civics. We have to make them understand um, American politics. And the more they read, the more confident I feel that we will become more discerning uh, consumers let, of information. Let me ask you this. You know, like the Tribune or a TV station, Twitter and Facebook are private companies. But unlike TV and newspaper, they also have algorithms that manipulate what you see and what you don't see. Is, do you see that as a problem that the government needs to step in and fix so that we are not bombarded by uh, stories and information that is clearly not factual? I do. I do see that as a problem. Um, uh, who steps in to, in to fix it? I really don't have the answer to that. I don't particularly have a problem with, uh, with, with an enlightened government doing something on our behalf. Uh, what the likelihood of that is, I, I really can't say. Um, well, maybe that'll be my dissertation for your next <laughs> class to get my PhD. He's like, <laughs> he's like no thanks. No, no, no don't want to read it. <laughs> it was a good question. Uh, yeah. I, See? I'm just a question guy. I don't he's, have any answers. If you need an associate professor, he's <laughs> right. here for you. I'll give you his contact information. <laughs> right. Anyway, you can check out more at peterkfallon.com. You can also follow him on Twitter. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you.